Hi guys, you welcome to you to another Minecraft Resorts Pack tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make animated textures. So what we're going to be doing today is making it so that our ores have a slight little glow on them. And that, that's the plan for today. So, animation is actually quite easy. First, you need to make a texture. So, I'm going to start off with the coal texture. So let's just open it up. And you want to make a texture and like have the different frames. Now that's how animation works, it's loads of frames. So if you go get the coal ore here, what I'm gonna do is gonna it's just gonna be two frames for me. So every time you add a new frame you increase the height by whatever the width is. Like by that much. So because our width is 16 we increase it by 16 so it's 32. But so you had a 32 by 32 image then it'd be a 64 height. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, so then you copy, you then, like, you just add a separate frame. Now, this is the frame that I'm going to have on the bottom, but I'm going to select the grey part. And... And what I'm going to do is go to hue saturation and just increase the lightness by a little bit by 16. Let's increase it by 16. So it's slightly lighter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. And then going to go over to here and we need to make a new text file and it's called an MC meta text file so if we do um, somewhere in here right click new text document and I'm going to call it coal underscore or dot png so you need to say what the name of the file is dot MC meta on the end change the extension and you can just open this up in Notepad++ or any Notepad editor. And let's start this up. So we need to do animation here. And just open it up. First thing that we want to do is state how long each frame should last. So we're going to use frame time. And I'm going to just have it 20. And you should be able to see, if I press F3 and T to reload all of our textures, we should see a noticeable chain that should just flash in between the different frames. Okay, so I found a setting, it's terrain animated and textures animated. Now for some reason, um, this gives me shockingly bad FPS as soon as I turn this on because I don't know why. Um, with that bug. But as you can see, it now changes its texture. Now what we're going to do is now add something known as interpolation. So interpolate. We're going to set this to true. Now we need to put a comma in this because this is JSON. And I'm just going to tab these out. Just because I prefer it like that. And what interpolation does, it actually somewhat fades it. But it does it by increasing the RGB values RGBA values so we just increase it till it goes to the next colour so we should see a nice little glow on the textures and that's what we can see got a nice little glow going on here which you think looks really nice so that's one way of doing it what we can also do is change the frames so if you go to frames now this is an array, so we put it like this. Now this is like an order, so we start off with the zero frame. One, two, three. Now counting starts at zero. If you look at the texture, you got one, two, three, four. So start four numbers, but starting at zero to so zero, one, two, three. So that's our current order. And what we can do is switch it around a bit. So maybe we want it only to show the um, yellowish tint. So if we F3T, 
We should now only see the yellow tint. Which we can. It's only the yellow one. It's not changing. So you can also change the order. So let's say we go uh, 3, 2, 1, 0. But let's switch these up so that's a 1, that's a 2. And let's switch it up like that. So the middle one's a switch. So instead of being red, So instead of it being uh, like normal, blue, red, yellow, it's normal. Well, the order is actually the yellow, blue, red, normal. So yellow, blue, red, normal. And like so. Now what we can even do as well is we can go a bit more in depth here and we can actually open these up and put index to be free and we can also set the time here as well so the time we're gonna make it 10 and that'll mean that the yellow one will last half as long as all of the others so if we just reload the textures like so we should be able to see the yellow one half as long as the others so let's see, so we have a tiny bit of yellow, quickly changes, and that's the basics of animation, so I'm going to just revert, oh, I'm going to just revert this to normal, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, I am out.